What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And today we need to talk about Caspa. This is just really, really interesting as we're sitting on a daily trading volume that has been over $1 million <laughs> per day for quite some time. So we're going to take a look at this chart and I'm going to show you something that is just really shocking to me. But First, please understand that this is not financial advice. You play at your own risk and understand that if you spend money on stuff I talk about, you could be living in a box on the side of the river eating government cheese. All right. Now that we have that out of the way, we'll talk about this chart for Caspa starting out with the 24 hour. We just been bouncing around and it looks like a slight downtrend since uh, peaking out at 0 0.0046 and ending at 0 0.0438-ish I think is where we're at right now. Um, but when you start to zoom out, this is where it gets interesting. When we look at the seven day Caspa chart, what do you notice here? Let's put some lines on this chart. It looks to me like you've got this big wedge formation when you connect these bottoms. You've got some higher lows and you've got some lower highs and it kind of looks like we're forming a, uh, a symmetrical triangle which during a bear market these break to the downside and during a bull market these break to the upside. But before I write this off as a bearish breakout that is going to happen once we get to the apex of this triangle. We got to look at the rest of the chart because this is where it gets super interesting. When we look at the 14 day, we can see a very serious uptrend. Um, when we see the action that happened before this triangle, let's put this triangle back up here. Here we go. It would look something like this. And then when you look at where we came from, from the floor here, to the beginning of the formation of this triangle, we can construct a flagpole right here. And what you normally do under bullish conditions, you take that flagpole and you reconstruct that and you place it at the breakout price and it will tell you exactly where price is going to end up, which is above like 0 0.0065 would be the next level somewhere around there. Now, before you get too excited, let's zoom out and continue on, which actually doesn't make a case for a breakout to the downside, but it just gets more exciting. When you look at it from this standpoint, uh, my eyes start popping out of my head because we see the previous wedge that was formed here, and we had a massive breakout that uh, you really can't make a flagpole out of this, but this is a parallel or symmetrical triangle. We had this humongous breakout and then a correction. And it looked like, you know, things were just headed in a bearish direction where this would continue to go down at this point. And that's what I was waiting for to buy in. But then after we started recovering here, I thought I would get a small bag. Um, but at any rate, when we kind of look at the overall, we can construct a base that is just kind of a hugely ascending uh, slope of this line here that looks like an uptrend. But wait, there's more. When we jump out to the 90 day, it's even more shocking. Look at this trend since the beginning when we were way, way, way back in the price of 0 0.0002 and change. Why couldn't I have picked this up back then? <laughs> I wish I could have known about it. And even from 0 0.0005, you know, you're up how many, good God, from 0 0.0002 to where we are right now, what are you looking at uh, 0 0.004 and change? Um, you're looking at what, 20X of a gain? If I'm doing that mental math correctly, let me know if I'm wrong. But um, you just have a continuing series of breakouts here. Here's the first wedge, and we had this massive run up. And then you've got a huge uh, triangle here. And this could be called um, symmetrical or an ascending base because it looks like the slope of the baseline is a little bit more steep than the inverse slope of the descending lows or descending high points. And then when we 
put our little flagpole on this and then move that over to the breakout point, you can kind of see that, well, it doesn't go quite as high as what this flagpole would say, but it was a break to the positive side, all right? Um, and then it looks like after this breakout here, and I don't know what you could call this formation if it was anything. This is just kind of a, I don't even know if I would say that this would be a triangle because it had such a correction afterwards. In fact, I would say that you had um, your triangle here, and that would be a symmetrical triangle that had a breakout to the downside because it is a bear market. And that's what I would have expected to happen here, but it did not happen. Now, the million dollar question is, what is going to happen at the end of this wedge right there? Something is going to happen. Are we going to break to the downside or are we going to experience another level up? Now, if I had to guess, I'm betting to the downside. I'm going to say that we're going to correct down to this region here that would land us somewhere in the neighborhood of the previous base. If you take an average here, it would be somewhere, um, let's just uh, say in the consolidation range, um, you could say it's somewhere between these two lines, possibly. And then if we get another formation where we bounce around within this zone, if we make another wedge formation, there's the possibility that you could break out and find this previous base that takes us way back from the previous. Here is our previous base. I don't think there's any chance that we go back to this point zero zero two. If we do, I'm selling the couch, I'm selling the kids, I'm selling the knives and forks, the pottery, everything, and I'm taking a chance. Now, don't go following me just because of that. But when you do your research on this, Caspa solves the Bitcoin or the blockchain trilemma. Look that up. Do your due diligence on the back on the background. And you will also find that instead of running on a blockchain, it's a block DAG. It is a new concept that uh, is a little bit more interesting than a regular blockchain that puts each block in series. But with a block DAG, Let's just uh, draw something here. Let's make a blockchain first. With a blockchain, each block is connected from the previous like this, and that's it. It is in a linear series, and if you ever have a situation where there is a disputed block, let's say that this is a disputed block, what happens here is you have a fork, and so then you have a new chain that comes out of this fork that goes uh, in this direction. And then the old chain proceeds in this direction, okay? And then your blocks will continue to form from that fork. So that's how blockchain works, okay? But with a block DAG, you might have a block here, and then you have a block here, and this is built on the previous block, but then you might have a block over here, and this one is built on the previous two with components from the previous two. And then there's another one that's out here that might be built on this one and this one. And it kind of makes this web where, depending on the speed that you're wanting to close these blocks, they can refer to two previous points and uh, you get this scalability that you don't get from a regular blockchain that runs in series. Now that's just an overgeneralized explanation. You need to watch the videos and see how that really works, but that's a block DAG. And I still need to read the white paper to look up this ghost whatever, uh, I can't remember what it's called, ghost something or other, that this thing is based off of. But it sounds like the folks who came up with this project, they're all uh, Ivy League school graduates with PhDs and they seem to all have credibility. And other than the higher supply, um, everything else about the project looks pretty legitimate. And it's getting talked about by some very credi credible sources, credible sources that are on um, various YouTube channels. 
Um, <clears throat> it's enough that I'm willing to gamble a small amount on it. I've bought 11,000 of it just to test it out and I might buy some more and it could all turn out to be a wash. It could be, um, I don't think that this will end up as a rug pull uh, because it just seems that the people who are behind it are, are in fact credible. Um, but it might not work out. You never know because with the bear market and the recession that we are about to go through right now, a lot of projects are not going to make it. Only the strongest will survive. And the ones that have the funding that could continue paying the developers uh, to continue the projects uh, as we go. So hopefully CASPA will survive this impending bear market. But thus far, the action that we have seen considering the circumstances, is nothing short of incredible. While everything else is kind of doing this and taking a nosedive along with Bitcoin, here is uh, CASPA that is making, let's change that color, we want green. CASPA's making these moves where it's just uh, acting like that we're in the middle of a, a bull market making these bullish moves, one breakout after another. So we'll see how long that goes and I will keep you posted. We don't have the ability to pull up the chart on TradingView. It is not listed on TradingView yet. We can look at these little candles here, which when you pull up the candles, it does look better than, an, than the line chart and will kind of give us an indication that this next move could be to the upside. Um, but I'll keep you posted and I'll be reporting about it as I hold a bag. So I'll definitely want to know how this goes. But let me know if you have done your research on this project and what your impression is. Do you think CASPA will survive this worldwide meltdown? Do you think that uh, their slant, their angle on solving the, the blockchain trilemma is the best one that you've heard yet. I, I've been really big on Kadena, KDA, and I'm actually somewhat more impressed with Casper than I am KDA <laughs> at this point. But anyway, we'll be talking about it. I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to the Crypto Pro channel. Thank you for being here. And if you would like to donate to the cause to help me defray the costs of keeping up these videos, you may do so with a super thanks. Thank you in advance for helping out. And stay tuned. I will have news about the upcoming premium benefits for those of you that decide to come to become paying members of the Premium Crypto Pro channel. More on that later. This is Carlton, and I am out.